For international teachers coming to China, finding a house can be a very big concern. So finding a home to rent in China is probably one of the first things you need to take care of upon arrival. But luckily, there are many types of accommodations you can rent. Today we're going to show you three different types of apartments here in China. Uh, we've enlisted the help of a housing agent to help us, uh, take us through all the different apartments and show us around, show us the details. So if you're interested in knowing what they look like, keep on watching. So, Hello. I'm nice. David. Nice, nice to meet you, you David. <laughs> My name is Yuri. Okay. So what type of apartment are we in right now? Uh, this one we call is uh, Shenzhen Zhuang Apartment. It's mm. located in the Zhongshan Park Business uh, Circle. Okay. And this one, the size, it's almost 130 square meter. It has mm. a four bedroom, two bath. Yeah. Right. This is a shared apartment. Now we have the two roommates and uh, two or three days. New two uh, roommates will come right. join also. Yeah. So lots of different expats live here together exactly. in different rooms. Yeah. Hello, I'm Natalia. Uh, I'm David, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, and welcome to this uh, new apartment. Thank you. So can you uh, give us a very short introduction of uh, the whole apartment? Yeah, of course. So, uh, this one we call uh, Ningkang Xiao Qi. Uh -huh. uh, Ningkang, this kind of a Xiao Qi is like a compound. Uh, most of them are built in the Latin 80, Latin 90. It's uh, lovely, around 30 years history. This apartment, the uh, size is uh, 40 square meter, and including the one kitchen, the half open kitchen, mm -hmm. bathroom, and the living room, and the uh, bedroom area. Yeah. Oh, it's quite big for one person, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I saw when I came up, it's mm -hmm. quite in the city center, right? Exactly. We can say it's uh, in the downtown of downtown, oh. because the label is the Zhongshan Park. Oh. And walking distance, I think around eight minutes on foot to the subway line two, three, and four. And uh, nearby here is the colorful. Exactly. So now we're in the third apartment um, here with David again. So uh -huh. can you tell us about the apartment? Okay, yeah, welcome to the, uh, the new option. <laughs> Actually here, this is uh, belong to the Jing'an district. Uh -huh. So it's much more close to the downtown, right. I mean, the location. Talking about the location, because this one is located in the Yanping Road and the uh, Xinda Road. The neighborhood is the uh, WeWork, and also one block away is the Wujin Road Bus Street. So it's oh. very convenient for the foreign people. Right. Uh, right. In addition, when we take a walk to the subway lights 2 and 7, the Jian Temple Station, yeah. around 8 minutes. This apartment is the uh, 80 square meter. It's uh, oh. two long, one long, actually, it's uh, the, we, we become a master bedroom and one is living and mm -hmm. we just uh, set up a dining area, dining room area. So they have uh, one bedroom, one living, one dining and one kitchen and one bath. Mm -hmm. yeah. And wow. two long is with fish inside so it's kind of enjoying the nature light. Now before you start getting excited and researching hundreds of different places, there are some things to know. First of all, the market moves really quickly here in China. So it's not advisable to start house hunting until you arrive. And usually teachers can find a, an apartment within one week. And often you will not be able to know the exact location of the school until just before you arrive. So it's very hard to know which area of the city will match your needs. But EF will give you advice and tips on what to look out for. And will also share with you the contact details of English speaking agents. Not to mention all of the teachers and staff members who are working in your school who are a great resource for you to use when you're hunting for apartments. So if you enjoy the video and find it useful, please like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to find out more news about EF here in China, you can follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube and Facebook. See you in the next video. Bye.